cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. Look at it, Thomas. Tokyo Bay. One of the largest ports and one of the largest cities in the world. The Earthling's Thomas is booming here, but the sea, the sea is dying here. In their haste to trade and profit from trade, the Earthlings have turned this bay into a sewer. Just look at it. The sea gave birth to life millions of years ago. How does man repay it? By vomiting his indifference back into it in the form of pollution and waste. What can grow in this waste and cars? <laughs> Fortunately for us, only deformities and freaks. <laughs> we will do all we can to help such creatures spawn the filth of cars. Let the earthlings think that they are the protests of nature. Their vanity will not let them believe that other intelligence exists in the universe. Yes, I gave it form, but not yet intelligence. It has to have intelligence to survive. If it cannot defeat Spectre Man, then it is totally worthless. This time he is doomed. The answer is this, Carlos. Our new creation will have the brain of a famous scientist. He cannot fail. It was my pleasure. You know, I used to fish off this wharf when I was a boy. There were fish in these water, man. It's hard to believe. Nothing could live in that water now. Oh, I remember. 
Dad used to bring home eels and white baits. Mom cooked them for us. Old fashioned fish fry. Boy, were they good. Nothing like the taste of free fish. Those days are gone forever, I'm afraid. No more fish, no more anything. If things go on this way, the people of this city will starve. You're right, Doctor. Unfortunately, as long as the factories dump their filth here, these waters are not going to have the ability to sustain life. Do you smell what I smell now? It's really putrid. Yeah, I noticed the very same thing before. It's lousy. Mm, just like you said. Man, look down there. Huh? The bubbles, down there. I've never seen anything like that. What do you suppose it is? I don't know. Get us some samples. Right. Hold this. Thanks, Arthur. George! What's wrong? Boss? Boss? You better take a pill for that head. No, no. I'll be okay in a minute. Do you think it was hydrogen sulfide? Could be. Ah, uh, yes. Hydrogen sulfide. It's pretty dangerous. I seem to remember that its fumes are strong enough to kill you. Here you are. Yeah, but it didn't seem to affect our friend. You know, you're right. He got as big a whiff as you did. Oh, what have you got? Oh, just a belt buckle. <laughs> Present I got. Gee, that's great, George. Hey, is it somebody the rest of us know? A friend of ours? I'm not free to say, and I don't think you'd believe it. Let's just say it's nobody you boys know. Hey, man, I bet you could use a couple. What's this? A drain pipe flowing backwards? No, that's not possible. Unless the substance flowing into it is alive. Ah, the drain goes into Dr. Ogaki's laboratory. That may explain it. Dr. Ogaki is one of the world's leading biochemists, a great scientist in his country. Right now, Dr. Ogaki is analyzing the water sample George got for him earlier. Hmm, very strange. There appears to be a foreign substance in this liquid, but I can't determine its origin. I'm almost certain the substance is organic, but it isn't life as we understand it. I'd better call the pollution squad. Inspector Karate here. Yes, any word on those samples, Doctor? Huh? Uh, what do you mean you say you're not sure? I mean I don't understand its molecular structure. It's incredible. It would seem the pollutants are its main source of energy. And it grows at an astonishing rate with no normal nutrients available to stimulate its growth. There's no scientific explanation for such a thing. Why don't you come over and have a look for yourself before it crowds me out of the laboratory? <laughs> uh, doctor! Dr. Ogaki, what's going on? <laughs> Ogaki, what is it? <laughs> Nothing. It went dead. Come on, get us there. It's a mystery. Doctor, please open the door. Down there. Doctor. Renata, where is he? He's in there, Inspector. I, I've knocked, but he doesn't answer. Something's wrong. We'll have to break it in. George, you do it. Right. Come on. <laughs> hello, Doctor. Well, hello there. Nice to see you. The doctor, the phone call. Oh, that. You shouldn't have come all that way. Everything's fine now. I could use you now, Renata. Or perhaps one of your men could help, too. Oh, uh, I mean, if you would allow it. 
there's more than my little staff can handle. You or any of you would be of great assistance. I'm sure Renata would like the company. Uh, sir, why don't you take me? I'll be doggone. I, I don't understand it. I would have sworn he was scared to death. Seems all right now, huh, George? I don't know. He seemed, he seemed different, different to me. And, and that, that stuff, stuff on his shoe. No, something's, something's wrong. wrong. I'm, I'm sure, sure of it. Where can it be? What is it, Renata? It was here this morning. It's here. Well, if I knew what it was, I could help you find it. I was looking for the water. The what? The water? The water sample. Oh, from the bay. Did you see the samples, Doctor? The ones you got from the pollution squad this morning. Doctor, can you hear me? Doctor! Samples? Renata, you won't be needing samples. Uh, you won't be needing anything. You see, I've made all the necessary analysis, and it's all over. Hey, that's great to hear. What is it, Doc? Why'd you say it's over? You'll soon learn. You'll also soon learn about a monster in the city's midst. A monster? Where is this monster? Are you blind? Or just fools? Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Gaze upon me in wonder. <laughs> I am the new Hedron. <laughs> yes, it is I, Hedron. <laughs> and soon you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and I will inherit the earth. <laughs> uh, hi, Chief. I hear everything. Yeah, the okay. doctor just got excited. So, what did you do with John? Oh, I left him with Dr. Ogaki. Where's old George? With me. I mean, he was. Let's go. 